Welcome to Class Online School. In Class Online School, we offer educational subjects in various subjects in our secondary school, both our junior secondary and our senior secondary. So please go through the channel. You will see more than 270 videos that we have for you. They are all for you. Go watch them. We equally have videos on our classonlineschool.com on our website where you can purchase them for a token. If you cannot navigate through the channel to see the subjects you offer, you can go to the website for easy access and you can get these courses for a token. Welcome to our class for today. Commerce is a class. The other day we discussed the history of commerce in a Nigerian setting. And we saw how it moves from one stage to another, from our production, production for the immediate family, down to the barter system, then to the era of the trans-Sahara uh, trade, then to the missionaries, the oil boom, and our jet age. Today we are going to talk about that barter system we mentioned in the history, where we discuss the history of how commerce evolved. What is the butter system? That is the subject, uh, the topic we are discussing on that commerce today. The butter system. What is the butter system? We'll talk about the butter system. We'll talk about advantages of the butter system. And we'll talk about the disadvantages of the butter system. So we're taking three key areas in our study for today, describing what butter system is, the advantages, and then the disadvantages. Now let's just go diving into the first area we'll talk about, the butter system, which I term trade by butter. What is trade by butter? The butter system is a system of exchange where participants in a transaction directly exchange goods or services. Where people who are participating directly exchange goods or services. Let's make it more literal for understanding, to aid understanding. People who have products that needed another product come in direct uh, contact to exchange these goods. For example, if you have palm oil and I have garlic and I need garlic, I have excess palm oil. I want to use some of my palm oil to come exchange garlic from you because me, I need garlic. So the butter system is a system where those who have a product want to exchange it for other products. It's a process where people exchange products for other people's products. Now, let me give you another example. I have yam. You have rice. I have excess yam, you have excess rice, and you wanted some of it. You will use your rice to come exchange some yam for me because I'm in need of yam. That is the butter system. Goods are exchanged for goods. Sometimes goods are exchanged for services. You need my services. Maybe I can go to your farm and weed grass. And I needed rice to feed my family because that's what I'm in need of. I can come and offer the services of weeding grass for you. And in exchange, instead of giving me money, you give me rice in exchange. So people uh, exchange goods for goods, service for goods, or service for service. That's just the buffer system. Go over the video if you did not understand my explanation. A system where goods and services are exchanged without money being involved. It's either goods for goods, goods for services, services for services. That was the idea of the butter system. When I told you about how commerce was evolving, we see that people were producing more, more than what they actually needed. And some people were not producing all that they needed. And so those who have some of those things they needed and others do not have it, they go exchange it for the other person who have those things that they needed. I gave you the example of garlic for rice. I have garlic and I needed rice and I don't farm rice. I'll go to the rice farmer to exchange my garlic for the rice. 
Now when we go to the advantages and disadvantages, we are going to see some of the hindrances and some of the advantages of the butter system. So let's go next to the advantages of the butter system. Now we are taking the butter system, the advantages of the butter system. We will explain what the butter system is. Now let's look at the advantages. First, the butter system is a simple system free from the complex problem of the modern money system. You talk of cashless economy. You talk of so many other things that is associated with money and other problems. The butter system is free from such because no direct monetary transactions are required. Transactions are done without the use of money. So, for that reason, all problems associated with money problems that involve the buying and selling of products or goods and services are not there. Number two, no problem of foreign exchange crisis. There is increase in foreign exchange. There is increase of the dollar over Naira. There is increase of the pounds over uh, Naira. Those problems are not there. I cannot send more than $1,000 out to buy products uh, out there. It's not there. Because you got the, the buyer and the sellers are... And the exchangers are in close proximity. They are directly involved. They see the product they want to buy. Uh, they see the goods they want to exchange. The other party see the goods he wants to exchange. So the problem of foreign exchange is not there like we have in the modern world. No problem of under or over production. That will have produced this product overly that the masses cannot buy them out. Or we have underproduced. All those problems are not there with the butter system. Because you have produced for your immediate family and a little excess you want to exchange for another thing. You always look for exchange those who are ready to exchange your goods for other goods. So there is no problem of over, overproduction or underproduction. The fourth one is encourage division of labor. Remember when I was talking about the history of commerce, I told you that initially people were producing for themselves and their immediate family. A time comes that their need cannot be met just by one person. You can't produce everything you need. And so others were producing and then the other people were producing. So you can exchange what you are producing with what other people are producing. And so the vision of labor, this person produces, for example, rice. The other one produces yam, the other one produces coffee, the other one produces uh, cassava, or you can do a combination of these things, even if you can't do all. So people were handling different activities, different farming uh, uh, kind of fine products at different times. Economic power is not concentrated at the hands of few individuals. The economic power is in the hands of few individuals who are the bourgeois. These bourgeois have the money. They control the economy. They control what happens in the market. They produce, they hijack the economic um, strength of the nation. They are in production. And so they dictate what happens there. They control price because they are the major producers. And this cannot be found in the butter system because everybody produces whatever he or she wants and can exchange for what others want. So these are the advantages of the butter system. It's a system free from the complex problem of money that we have today. No foreign exchange problem, crisis up and down. I can't buy this because I can't send so so, so amount of money out there for exchange. Over production on the production is not there. Division of labor is encouraged. Economic power is not concentrated on the hands of a few. These are the advantages. Now let's see the disadvantages of the butter system. In the disadvantages of the butter system, we have lack of double coincidence of wants, lack of a common measure of value, indivisibility of certain goods. Difficulty in making deferred payments, transportation problem. What is double coincidence of wants? 
that I have coconuts and you have gari and you want to exchange your gari for coconuts. Such problems are really there because I might have my product and I want to exchange. I might not see who to exchange it with immediately. I will have to go over looking for who wants my product or my services. So that was a major problem. Double coincidence of want you want mine and I want yours was a problem. So moving around looking for those who need what you have become the major problem on hand. Lack of a common measure of value. I have a full cow and you have a bag of gari. Can the bag of gari be commensurate to the cow the individual have? It's not possible. I have a cock and you have a bag of gari. Can the cock measure to the bag of gari or the bag of rice? So there was no measure of standard. Measurements, common measure of values are not there. There were nothing to measure values and then to equate it with what you can receive from the other party. Indivisibility of setting goods. I have a full cow. I may need some for my family consumption in order for me to use it to get rice or gari. It might be difficult for me to just go kill the cow and divide it. Or maybe I have gold and I want to exchange rice. The quantity of gold, the carats of gold I have, it's high. And the rice I will receive might be far lower than the carats of gold I have on hand. Then, dividing it for me to get the equivalent of what I have on hand to divide it with becomes a problem. Indivisibility of certain goods. They can't, there are some goods that can't be divided. I have a canoe to paddle in the river. To exchange, it's not divisible. And you needed a small quantity of garlic. Can you divide that canoe? Of course not. So some products are not divisible. And it becomes a problem. Difficulty in making different payments. I want to pay at a later date. I want to pay in the future. I want to owe you. But in the butter system, I just needed it immediately. I want gari for my rice. Take my rice and give me gari because that's what will satisfy my wants and my immediate family wants. And I don't have it for now. I want to pay in the future, but I need it. That kind of system is not operated then. If you don't have it, you don't have it. That means you won't exchange for anything. Transportation problem. I have big bulk of things to exchange. Let's say I have plenty gallons of um, oil to exchange for variety of products. I want gari, I want rice, I want yam, I want plantain. I have plenty gallons of oil. How do I transport it to the point where I am, to the place where those who can exchange it from me are located? So transportation becomes a problem at that time. So these are the disadvantages and many others, not just this. The list is not exhausted. I just mentioned this five. Find out more other disadvantages that the battle system have over this uh, system we are operating today. This is where we wrap it up on our class for today. We've seen the advantages and the disadvantages of the battle system and we'll describe what the battle system is. Come in our next class where we'll discuss other topics in our commercial class. Thank you for dropping by. Until I see you, keep subscribing, keep sharing.